Okay, it's 5.20 a.m. We have a big day today, so we're up early. Day three. Big day ahead of us. But look at that view. Oh, it's not really showing up. Hmm. Is my phone on a weird setting? This view, though. Just making some coffee. It's getting ready to boil. There's the coffee. Your coffee powder. Yeah, you know. Probably, on the ground. Also, it's so easy to just scoop And it she in. just scooped all the dust into their garbage oh. bag. Oh. oh! Excuse me. <laughs> We're actually on time-ish to leave at 6.30 and then three of us urgently needed to use the pit toilet. So now we're lined up waiting to use the pit toilet. Blowy. Oh, mosquito. Oh, gosh. And uh, it's not a good height for either going under or. Uh, we're going through. Oh, oh. I'm okay. Oh. Oh, hey. Did you hurt yourself? Ha! Yeah, it is your fault. It's good to have Thanks someone a to blame. Thanks. Um, we just had a blowy and uh, there was a group behind us and some things what happened. I got a little careless. Jen fell. She was distracted probably by the group she behind us. Oh. I got the social pressure is too much. I got it's sap on my too. hands. It's it really sticky. Fine. But it smells good and uh, you should rub your hand in the dirt. Oh, good idea. That's a trick. We're taking our first break of the day. Um, Julie's gonna try to poop, and we're all keeping our fingers crossed that it works because she's been holding it in. Not holding actively, but in any case, I'm gonna stop talking about it now. Update Julie had success. I think all of us finally had success. Taking this video through what my lens looks like in the humidity of this hike. <laughs> I also, my watch told me to eject the water. It has a function that if it gets water in it, you eject it out. Uh, and it's so humid that that happened.
want to start out by saying we love the national parks. So beautiful. We love the park service. Oh, uh oh. What? Look at all that dust. Hold uh -oh. on. Okay. Okay. We love the park. Love it. We love the park service. Yep. But sometimes their info is just confusing. So their website warns about this crossing being hazardous. Yeah. I've been anxious about it all morning and even a little bit yesterday. Same. And this crossing looks like this. I mean, it's basically not even a crossing. It was like a hip scop and a, what's that word? Jump. Jump, what? Hip scop and a jump. <laughs> not a scop. Hip skip. skip. Skip hop and a jump. Whereas the other one we crossed, which had no warning at all, mm -hmm. was like a plunging waterfall. I fell in. Lisa fell in. Twice. Almost lost the pole. In this one, yeah, you could slip, but it's not gonna take you down. Oh, here comes some people. <gasps> oh, okay. Masks. has changed since our last joyful update. So we went over the crossing. There was actually a slightly worse crossing that we didn't know about yet, but it was fine. And then we were going up the trail. I've been worrying all day about snow. And so finally we saw people coming down the trail and I asked them about snow. And they said there were three patches of snow. Two of them were fine. One had a very steep drop off and the snow was hard. They didn't have micro spikes or poles. Um, and they said it was scary and I'm super terrified of snow. Sorry, I just thought she looked really fashionable. So, Let's zoom down. We decided to hike down to a camp we had seen. Oh, wildest. wildest. Yeah. All right, how mm. is that? Chicken fried rice? Mm. It's pretty good. Ooh. Hope Tasty. a fly doesn't go in there. What are you guys having? We're having pad thai. Mmm. All right. We feel fear. Oh my gosh, I feel so much fear. So much, so much fear. Is it recording? Yeah. I found oh. it. Good news. Okay, we're doing an update. We've got a bags update. We might need to talk loudly because I don't know how well the mic works. Absolutely. <laughs> when did we leave off last and with our decision to come down here and stay here? We touched base on the misery. So, okay, okay I don't know if we explained it well. We, mm. yesterday, we. instead of going up to the camp we were supposed to, mm. yesterday we decided it's out of the way of where we're going. We're just gonna try to go straight we're to the camp tired. we're going to. Uh, we knew maybe there could be snow. Go. There was a crossing marked as dangerous on the map. The crossing, water. the water crossing wasn't too dangerous. No. It's so But easy. on the way up, some people were finally coming down. First people we, the only people we saw coming down all mm -hmm. day. Yeah. The only two people that came down all day, wow. Yeah. They, <laughs> Yeah, did the other one slide off the snow? No, I don't think so. So, I asked, is there any snow? And he said that there's a 30 foot stretch with a very steep drop off. But they didn't have poles or traction. Micro traction. spikes, traction. So they said with those things, it wouldn't be too bad. But I full blown panicked. I'm still shaking right now thinking about it. Actually, it's you real. were calmed down and then she started thinking about it again. And then, and then she started Yeah, I shaking. finally had calmed down. But I basically sobbed and said I couldn't do it because I'm so afraid. So sad. You said, oh, so, you, so. Said, you cried and you said, I don't want to climb over the snow. That's what you said. <laughs> like we were going to force you. Um, and now I'm trying to decide tomorrow. Lisa and Kit are for sure going to go up to the lake tomorrow. They are not afraid of the snow crossing. I'm trying to decide if Jen and I, because Jen's going to do whatever I decide to do. So I'm trying to decide should I go up, take a look at the snow, if it's too much, turn back, 
Should I just decide now that the snow is too much? Because we only have single word of mouth report. And look at all the chips we have. Wow.